A lot of people ask, can AI write stories? So I thought I would jump over into my favorite AI writer, Jarvis, and just write a story right here with you. So I've already named it The Broken, and I put in this title right here. I wrote a short little synopsis of it, and I chose uh, Stephen King's tone of voice. And Jarvis, you can use all kinds of different tones of voices. Um, here are some of the most popular, but there are a whole lot. Let's see if we can open this up real quick. You can actually do all kinds of different tones of voice, and you can even, like I did, just write in the name of someone whose tone of voice you want Jarvis to copy. So let's see what Jarvis comes up with. Um, I like doing the medium out output, just my preference. You can do the short or the long. And I'm just really going to see what Jarvis comes up with. You're always going to have to give Jarvis some instructions and guide him a little bit. But um, I've just written three short scenes and stories earlier. Worked out great. Let's see what he comes up with this time. So I'm going to hit the compose button. And we're going to see where Jarvis takes us. Okay, I like how this starts. Stop. I said stop. The man yelled, his voice deep and dark. The thief could hear the shopkeeper yelling, but he couldn't stop. He tried to slow down, but the old man's grip on him made it impossible. All of a sudden, something... We're going to change this. This is interesting because Jarvis almost never writes a spelling error, but sometimes he does. Broke free from the old man's grip. And you can see Jarvis usually stops on a half of a sentence. So we're just going to pick up from there and see where Jarvis takes us. And sometimes I put more instructions and guidance into Jarvis. Other times I don't, but I think it's already clear that Jarvis can write stories. Jarvis can write dialogue. Jarvis can come up with titles. Jarvis can come up with characters, come up with action, description, internal monologue. So there's violence in this particular story, but you can also write horror, romance, Western, fantasy, fan fiction, short stories, novels. You can write it much faster than just writing it on your own. The better instructions you put into Jarvis, the better output. Gun went off. Thing slowed down for a moment. The man's eyes widened and he fell to the ground, clutching his chest as a growing red circle stained his white shirt. He lay there on the floor, looking up at everyone in shock. The thief looked at what happened in horror. You can see this is an evolving narrative, a story based on the information that I gave to Jarvis. And we can keep going. Again, you can always go back and, and switch things, add names, add details, add your voice and tone, you know, edit the sentences as you will, as you prefer. But Jarvis is really doing most of the heavy lifting in this story. Meanwhile, the shopkeeper clutched at his wound. His breathing came out in short gasps that soon turned into hacking coughs. He started shaking as he tried to crawl away from where he lay. I'm only going to go a few more paragraphs, but you can see you just have to keep giving Jarvis a little bit of instruction, and you hit the Compose button. And Jarvis really does the writing for you. I just wrote an article on my website that you can read through a link in the description of this video that goes into more examples of how Jarvis and just AI writers in general can write stories in fiction for you. See what Jarvis came up with here. Meanwhile, the shopkeeper clutched his wounds. We already read that. He started shaking as he tried to crawl away from where he lay on the floor. So you can see there's some repetition. So all you got to do is go right here, highlight it, go up here to fix grammar. Jarvis is going to fix that um, for you. And most of the time he fixes it completely. Sometimes you need to delete a word or two. So he managed to get himself onto the nearby chair before he could no longer fight the darkness that had started to overtake his vision. And so here we have escalating consequences. I'm going to fix this grammar too. And just like that, we fixed it. Pretty simple. The thief was at least 20 feet away from him when he heard a thump behind him. He turned around, but an invisible force slammed into his face and sent him flying back four feet. This way, I think it's a little confusing the way Jarvis put that. The thief was at least 20 feet away when he heard a thump behind him. He turned around, but an invisible force slammed into his face and sent him flying. I don't know if he'd 
fly four feet unless there was a supernatural force, and maybe that's where Jarvis is going. I'm just going to put flying back. So you can see we could just continue this on for the rest of the scene, the rest of this chapter, and write the whole book this way. And it's literally, we have 215 words, and Jarvis did most of that writing for us. We could continue to hit compose, and we could get up to 1,000 or 3,000 words per day very easily that we could edit and correct very quickly um, with Jarvis or just on our own. And that's how AI can write stories for you. If you liked what Jarvis can do for you, check out the link um, to Jarvis in the description of this video. Now, that is an affiliate link. Um, I use Jarvis every single day to write all sorts of different content, including stories. Also, check out the link in my description to the full article about how Jarvis can write these stories for you and with you, no matter if you're writing fan fiction, short stories, novels, or screenplays. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I'll see you at the next one.